there. Welcome. I'm so glad you're here. If you're new to me, my name is Molly Pelletier and I'm a registered dietitian specializing in acid reflux, GERD, and LPR. You probably found me from a Google or social media search on the topic of acid reflux. I know this because I was once there too, desperately searching for what was causing my acid reflux symptoms and how could I stop them. I struggled with GERD and acid reflux for years. I was on PPIs for over a year and I was struggling daily with symptoms of heartburn, chest pain, throat burning. I used to wake up nightly with acid reflux and I was desperate to find what could help me stop these symptoms. I went to my doctors and got tons of second opinions, tons of medical tests. They all came back negative. And I started to have breakthrough symptoms on my PPI. I knew that I didn't want to be on these PPIs long term. And so I needed to take control of my health. I also had about five foods that I felt comfortable eating because of these acid reflux symptoms. And so my life was getting smaller and smaller and I knew I needed to take control of my health or I was going to be in trouble. So through the tools of nutrition, the tools of lifestyle and strategic supplementation, In addition to nervous system support and stress management, I was able to overcome my symptoms. Fast forward to today, I'm a registered dietitian specializing in GERD acid reflux LPR. I'm a master of nutrition science and a leading voice in nutrition for acid reflux. I've helped hundreds of individuals overcome their acid reflux symptoms and I'm so excited to help you too. In today's webinar, we're gonna be talking about how to overcome acid reflux. This is probably the question that I get most frequently on social media and on my app, Flora, is how to overcome acid reflux. And I wanna start by talking about some of the things that are a barrier for those who are trying to overcome acid reflux or some of the things that might be preventing you from stopping these symptoms. One of the biggest things that can prevent people from overcoming reflux is conflicting information. Everywhere you look, there's going to be conflicting information in the Facebook groups for acid reflux, in the functional medicine space, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok. There is so much conflicting information. And what a lot of people do is they take bits and pieces of other people's protocols, what has worked for other people, and they try to piece together their own healing protocol. This is mistake number two that many people make is piecing together their own protocol and not getting a personalized approach. We're not using a proven method to overcome acid reflux and really just going at it on their own without guidance from a registered dietitian. This is where I was. I was struggling with reflux for years. I had really severe symptoms and I was constantly flip-flopping between different supplements, different diets. I was always searching for the next pill or the next diet or protocol that was going to help me overcome my symptoms. And I never gave anything a solid chance to actually work. And this is the third thing that I see really inhibiting people from making progress is lack of consistency. So they may be trying some things that are actually really great. They may be using the right supplements. They may be following a good diet for them and avoiding the acid reflux triggers, but lack of consistency with all of these things can make even the best plan fail. So you need consistency and you need support to help yourself be consistent. So having accountability, having a community behind you, making systems and reminders in place to help you really stay consistent is going to help you overcome and really finally get relief. The next thing, the fourth thing that I see people not doing that is really preventing their symptom management and their acid reflux healing journey is not managing stress. So we can get really, really caught up in the food that's causing our symptom, in the supplement that could finally cure us. And I was there. I totally get this. I was constantly looking for the food that was causing my symptom. I was thinking a ton about specific foods and I wasn't thinking about any of the other healing aspects of acid reflux prevention, like how we eat, stress management. So I was stuck in that cycle too, but it's so important that we remember 
that stress is a root cause of acid reflux. Research tells us that, that stress can cause mechanical acid reflux. It can cause the regurgitation of stomach contents into the esophagus. And higher anxiety levels have been correlated with higher levels of acid reflux or worse GERD symptoms. So there's a huge connection between stress and reflux. You've probably already started to notice this in your own life. You've probably noticed that your symptoms get worse with stress. And maybe you've even noticed that your symptoms get much, much better when you're not stressed. Or maybe you go on vacation and you feel much less acid reflux symptoms. If you've noticed that, it could be because stress is one of your root causes. There are many root causes of acid reflux and it's really important to understand your root causes. And that is something that I have helped hundreds of my clients do. I had to do myself in identifying root causes. We can understand the factors that are impacting your reflux symptoms so that you can finally overcome these symptoms. And so chronic stress is key. If we're not managing stress, we're missing out on a big part of reflux prevention. The last thing I'm going to mention that I've already sort of alluded to that can really inhibit progress to acid reflux recovery is not addressing your root causes. So there are many different types of root causes. They could be post-infectious IBS, post-viral, um, you know, having a virus or having a foodborne infection. These can actually bring on reflux symptoms. Things like gut imbalance, H. pylori infection, hormonal imbalance, slow motility, slow stomach emptying, esophageal motility issues, maybe the motility of the esophagus has been compromised or there's a structural issue in your esophagus that could be contributing to reflux, a hiatal hernia. A lot of these things we can help you identify and help you understand the right testing to ask for because a lot of these cannot be seen on an endoscopy. If you've been struggling with reflux for a long time, you may have gotten an endoscopy where they look at the tone of your lower esophageal sphincter, they look at the acid erosion that may be there, and many of my clients, including myself, actually get a negative endoscopy. A negative endoscopy, which shows no real information, this does not mean you don't have acid reflux and it doesn't mean that all hope is lost and we can't identify your root causes. In my acid reflux masterclass, I'm going to help you understand what tests to ask for and I'll share more about this program, this masterclass towards the end of this video. Okay, so we have chatted about some of the biggest barriers, biggest things that may be impeding your progress on your acid reflux recovery journey. But now I wanna talk about how do you actually overcome acid reflux and is it possible? Another question I get is can you overcome acid reflux? And I can tell you based on my experience working with hundreds of clients and helping thousands of people on my app, Flora, it's 100% possible to drastically reduce your acid reflux symptoms to the point where they are not ruling your life, they are not ruling your every decision, or completely overcome your acid reflux symptoms. When you go to the doctors for acid reflux, they only have time to prescribe a medication and maybe give you one or two tips. And so if you have felt discouraged after going to the doctor or seeing a provider for acid reflux, you are not alone. I have been there, so many of my clients have been there feeling dismissed and feeling at a loss after their appointment where their doctor was only able to recommend a medication or tell them to increase the dose of their medication that they don't even want to be on long term. So nutrition and lifestyle is the first line of defense in acid reflux prevention. PPIs like omeprazole or H2 blockers like famotidine, pepsid, these do not stop acid reflux. It's really important for you to know that the medications out there for reflux, they don't stop acid reflux, they just reduce the acidity of the reflux. So it becomes less irritating to your tissues, to your throat, to your nasal passages. They're not stopping reflux. In order to stop acid reflux, you have to use nutrition, lifestyle prevention tools, strategic supplementation, and stress management. You need this four-pronged approach in order to overcome acid reflux symptoms, and that is what my program, Acid Reflux Relief, this program is going to teach you. 
And so PPIs definitely have a time and place. I'm not anti-medication, but there are some concerns about the long-term use of certain medications. So it's essential whether or not you continue on these medications, which is a conversation between you and your doctor, of course, it's really essential that you also combine your medical management with this four-pronged approach to actually prevent acid reflux. So like I said, doctors are incredible and necessary, but they don't have the time to take you through how to actually prevent acid reflux with nutrition and lifestyle. And they don't have the training either to support you with those foundational pillars of acid reflux prevention. So I mentioned nutrition, stress management, lifestyle prevention, and strategic supplementation. So I'm going to start with nutrition. Nutrition is absolutely important for preventing acid reflux because a lot of our symptoms can be related to food. It's important to think about what we're eating, but it's also important to think about how we are eating. So odds are you're already familiar with the main trigger foods of acid reflux. You're probably already familiar with needing to avoid coffee, spicy foods, really fried foods, citrus, potentially for some garlic or onion, tomatoes, or other sour acidic foods. But what you may not understand about reflux is what are your personal and unique triggers. So outside of those main acid reflux triggers some do have unique and personal food triggers and that is what what we want to help you try and identify with some personalized assistance and so in the acid reflux relief program you have access to a food and symptom logger and you can start to identify patterns your flora coach who is specialized in acid reflux will also help you to identify your unique triggers so you don't have to live in fear anymore and you really can know what foods are contributing to your symptoms and then we can help you broaden your diet outside of those trigger foods because what I see so often is that individuals are avoiding way more foods than they need to be avoiding so I was there too I struggled with reflux and I was avoiding so many foods to the point where I only had about five safe foods and this is really harmful for mental health. It's very stressful. It's also harmful for the gut microbiome and so our goal in this program is to give you the tools to understand what to eat, what not to eat, and how to personalize and customize your diet so it's the most broad and enjoyable as possible. The other part of nutrition is how to eat. So mealtime hygiene. Mealtime hygiene is absolutely critical. It's important to understand the times that you should be eating, a personalized mealtime framework, not eating too quickly, not overfilling the stomach, and creating a nutrition plan that helps you avoid under eating and overeating. There's a lot of little details in how to eat for acid reflux prevention. A few key tips to get started right away would be mealtime hygiene. So that is chewing your food really well. Chewing till about an applesauce consistency. You don't have to count your your chews, that gets stressful, but just chewing till an applesauce consistency can be incredibly helpful to help things travel down the esophagus more effectively and also prevent reflux because your stomach doesn't have teeth. And if you don't chew your food, if you're eating super quick, eating rushed, your food will hit your stomach and your stomach won't know what to do with it. And it can increase your likelihood to reflux. So chewing well, having good posture at mealtime is also essential. So if you're slouching during a meal or you're laying down after a meal or even just having poor posture after dinner, sitting on the couch, these things can actually really impact reflux. So I I really encourage you to set post-it reminders or set a phone reminder during your meals to chew well, have good posture, and avoid excess liquid at mealtime. So a lot of people will come to me and they're drinking a lot of liquid during a meal because they think that that might help with reflux, but it actually can worsen reflux symptoms. So try to limit fluids during a meal and try to have most of your hydration outside your mealtimes. So a few key tips there in terms of nutrition, but there is so much more that we need to dive into to understand your individual triggers and also what is the best mealtime pattern, the best mealtime schedule for you. That's absolutely key. 
And also, how do we un- understand hunger and fullness? And so that will be a big part of our journey together in the acid reflux relief program. I've also mentioned stress. Stress is absolutely key in preventing acid reflux symptoms. If we're constantly stressed, our motility, the flow of our digestion can really be inhibited. Stress can cause reflux, as I mentioned at the beginning of this masterclass. And so designing a personalized stress management routine that is something that you can stick to and commit to every single day is super, super important. That brings me to one other thing that is really, really key for managing reflux, consistency. I started talking about this a little bit when I wanna dive into this more. What happens to so many people when they're going through any health condition or any health journey is they will start to get consistent and they'll start to feel better. And when you're feeling better, that is the time that often things slip. We often start to get less consistent with our stress management, with our nutrition, with our mealtime hygiene habits. And then that decrease in consistency can result in worsened symptoms. And so it, it causes this cycle of feeling, of being consistent, feeling better, dropping off and getting back on, hopefully, hopefully getting back on, But it can also be really, really discouraging because you might think I put in all this work and you didn't, maybe you didn't notice that you stopped being as consistent with certain things and your brain might think, well, it doesn't matter what I do. I always end up with acid reflux symptoms. And it's completely understandable that you would feel that if you put in all the work and then you still ended up getting symptoms, but maybe you didn't have the accountability and the support to break that cycle. So what we're trying to do is keep the consistency going with your health habits and with your nutrition and your stress management so you can break this cycle and just continue to improve your health, continue to decrease reflux, heal that tissue that has been really irritated and overcome your acid reflux symptoms. So continued support and accountability is absolutely huge. And in the acid reflux relief program, we not only give you the tools to understand acid reflux, to understand your root causes and identify your root causes. We also give you the tools for nutrition, mealtime hygiene, strategic supplementation, and how to prevent stress and how to manage anxiety in day-to-day life. But we also give you accountability and support. So you have access in the Acid Reflux Relief Program to a group support program where you can share wins, share resources, ask questions. You have access to your Flora coach who is a trained specialist in in acid reflux who is trained in the Flora acid reflux healing method, which is a proven method that has helped myself and hundreds of individuals overcome acid reflux. So you have the support of your coach and then you also have weekly calls with me. So weekly calls as a group where we are diving into your concerns and the obstacles that you're facing. Check down below to see what's included in the full program and weekly calls with me in addition to all of the core modules and our group forum for additional support. The last thing I'm going to mention is strategic supplementation. So understanding what supplements to take for acid reflux is really, really critical in overcoming your symptoms and preventing them long-term. If you're familiar with my story of acid reflux, I used a combination of mucilaginous herbs like slippery elm, DGL. I also have used alginates and a few other key supplements to really prevent reflux in a natural, sustainable way. This is what helped me wean off my PPI and prevent reflux long-term. This has also helped me incorporate a wide variety of foods to the point where now I can enjoy coffee. Coffee was my biggest trigger. I thought I'd never ever be able to enjoy coffee and now I enjoy coffee every single day. So just as an example, supplements are really, really helpful in allowing you to heal and incorporate your favorite foods back into your diet. But there's so much conflicting information out there and supplements can be extremely confusing. So in the acid reflux relief program, we break it down on how you should be taking these supplements and how you can use them to prevent acid reflux symptoms. We give you a protocol to get control of your symptoms and then how do you use them once you've gotten control, how do you use them on an as needed basis to continue your reflux prevention if you needed them in the future? 
So that we will dive into in module seven in the acid reflux relief program. And I really recommend taking a look down below at all of the different modules. So take a look at the journey we will be going through in terms of nutrition, in terms of stress management and nervous system support, in understanding how to eat, understanding how to drink liquids, everything from how to travel and prevent symptoms to how to talk to your family members and your friends about your journey. We'll be going through what you need to know to overcome acid reflux symptoms. This course is less about me lecturing as an expert and moving through some educational modules and more about coming on a journey with me. So you will be supported by me and the Flora Nutrition team throughout every step of your journey. We are here to support you from the start of your application, which you can apply for the program down below. So we will be there for you every step of the way. Be sure to check out the FAQs down below for free frequently asked questions about the program and I look forward to seeing your application come into my inbox. We're here to support if you have any questions feel free to reach out to us. Our contact information is down below. I'm thrilled that you stumbled upon my program and I can't wait to start this journey with you.